In this video, I would like to introduce you with the essential wave map functions that uh, are provided in Sentio to um, enable navigation on the screen and also to automatically step the wafer for uh, automated measurements. Um, after we did the alignment uh, using the vision module, uh, we can easily switch to the wafer map by using our picture in picture function. Just touch to the mini view and switch over to the wafer map. The uh, side panel remains in navigation mode, so I can even uh, navigate um, when observing the wafer map. When we want to set up the wafer map, we enable uh, the third tab in the wafer map module, which is uh, the wafer map setup. Now our side panel changes to uh, give me access to the most important parameters of the wafer map. I will, going, I will go and start with the uh, setup of the uh, wafer diameter and the orientation, which is in the first tab. The uh, wafer diameter was already detected by the smart vacuum function. Here I can override the setting and uh, adjust the diameter if needed. Okay, if I change the wafer size, it will uh, reset my binning information. That's uh, where Sentio gives me a warning. In Sentio, we also uh, very often have um, this type of information, which basically provides the user with some guidance and some information. But if users are getting more familiar, they can always select the option to remember the selection and remove the dialog in the next time. So I did this for this one. Uh, going back to our original diameter of 300 millimeter, we have the diameter setting here. We have the orientation where I can select the notch location of the wafer. Uh, I can set the notch depths here to define the geometry of the notch. I can also adjust the wafer thickness uh, to achieve uh, a better focus when using the good focus function. Uh, I can also get a feedback of the uh, current die size, which I can even enter here if it's not already detected by the auto die size function. On the next tab, uh, we have uh, the grid settings where I can define the coordinate system of my wafer. For instance, I can set the orientation, whether it's counting positive, top to bottom, and left to right, or another direction. I'm going to use top to bottom and left to right here. With the button on the right side, I can easy select, easily select the origin of the uh, uh, wafer map coordinate system. Therefore, I am using the touch screen to simply touch to a location on the screen, which is my 0, zero position now. And push the finish button. Now, 0, zero is set up to this corner, and my first line will be the 0 coordinate uh, on both the left, uh, the y and the x axis. Furthermore, I can set the offset location, means the grid offset to the wafer center. This defaults to 0, 0, means uh, the corner of my die is located at the center of the wafer. If it's different than that, we can either use the center buttons to put the center of the chip into the center of the wafer or uh, define the exact distance between the wafer center and the, cordon, the corner of the die. Furthermore, we have a setting here to adjust the edge of the wafer. So we can define the quality area. And we have a function to set the reference, uh, die reference, which means where's the home location within a certain die. The default here is center, and I'm going to keep this at the center for the moment. Um, next one is uh, a tab to um, automatically map the um, dies to, into the wafer map diameter. So, for instance, we can decide whether we want to map only the good dies, uh, which is basically selecting all the dies that are uh, included completely into the wafer map, wafer map, wafer quality area. So if we're going to map the edge dies, this will cut off all the dies which are not uh, or partially inside the wafer diameter. If I select good and ugly, it will include those dice that are uh, even touching the uh, edge area and good, ugly and edge means it includes everything, every die, even the edge dies that are a little bit outside or completely outside the wafer quality area. But there may be some structures that are still of interest for those dies. The same selection can be done for the subsides. Well, subsides once I have designed, uh, def decided and defined the subside locations.
the next uh, tab uh, allows me access, gives me access to the path planning here. I can define the first of all the starting position for the stepping procedure, but also the stepping direction. So the standard is bidirectional, so it goes from left to right and right to left and back and forth. I have also a function here to select um, a partial um, selection. So if I want to do a kind of a sample test, I define I can define whether I want to test every second die or eventually even every tenth die. Okay, select and now it automatically deselects those dice that are not relevant. If I want to do the uh, selection of the dice and the definition of the dice uh, manually, I have uh, several functions in the top in the toolbar area here. With the first one, which is enabled now, I can uh, adjust the screen to see the area of interest. I can also zoom in to the wave map at any time, so I can magnify the area of interest. Um, the next button is to select certain dies, so I can uh, select an individual die and include it into the test route. Uh, next button is to add and remove dies. This is to remove dies from the wafer mapping, so I can do an individual wafer mapping with this function if the automatic function does not meet my needs. Um, and I have a function to uh, enable and disable certain subsites, which is the toggle subsite function. To allow a quick and easy selection of the ties, dice under test, I can use the select all button here, which selects all dice which are available in the wave map for the test, or I can deselect them all with the next button. And if I just want to deselect the edge dice, I can do this using the deselect edge button. After setting the origin and the orientation of the map, we also want to set the home die of the wafer. So if I set my home die in the center of the wafer, like I did now, that is fine. If I want to change this and I want to set the home die to a different location, I use the set home function. Here again I have several options. I can first of all uh, adjust the home position just by clicking to my home die, which is actually the die I make my set my home position. This could be either in the center of the wafer, could be close to the notch. Any position that I can find easily, I can select as a home die. Another option is to adjust the uh, grid origin according to the home die location. For instance, if I uh, select the center, of, center die as the home die and I exactly know my um, coordinates of the home die, I can type them here. I can say, okay, my home die is... Uh, column 14 and row 13 and with that setting it adjusts, send you adjusts the uh, origin of the wave map to exactly that representation and now zooming in my home die will have the coordinates as defined in the dialog. In the next step uh, I can skip this step if I already set my home location on the wafer chuck or I can now use the vision module to adjust uh, the wafer position to the probe tips and uh, set my home position for the chuck. In this video I'm going to introduce you with the on-screen tools of the wafer map. After the wafer map is set up correctly, you, the user can utilize the on-screen tools also located on the right side of the screen here to uh, navigate across the wafer map. First of all, uh, we have a center button here to center the wave map if we zoomed in. So all the time the user can zoom into the wave map and with that uh, allow the user to observe the current die location as well as the current die coordinates. You can furthermore see the subside locations within the die. So these are the green spots here, these are the subside locations. We have also several navigation modes to navigate within the wave map. Uh, for instance, the step function enables you to click to a die or touch to a die and move the chuck to this die location. So it's very easy to navigate uh, using the wave map to a certain die location. Uh, the next one is a function to drag and drop the certain die to, um, to the center of the screen. 
So for instance, if I want to move to the, my home die, I just drag my home die to the crosshair in the center, and the chuck will move to this home die, even uh, to a certain location within the die. For instance, if I want to move to the upper left corner of the die, I can move it uh, using this drag and drop function. Another function in the navigation here is the side snap function, which allows me to navigate to a certain subside location. So I just drag a certain subside into the crosshair, and the chuck will move and center to the subside location. If I want to move to another one, I drag the chuck to the other subside location, and it will move the chuck over there. Uh, the next menu here is to enable certain views. Uh, the most typical one is the bin view. Uh, the value view would enable me to observe, for instance, like uh, the values of the topography mapping. Another menu here, again, similar to the video vision on-screen tools, we have the option to select from different options for the picture and picture function. Uh, turn it off. Uh, use the small picture and picture, large picture and picture, or the triple view. And last but not least, on the navigation, on the uh, on-screen tools, we have a function to enable or disable the subside display. Mm -hmm.